COVID-19 acute respiratory disease, putting on and removing personal protective equipment or PPE, a guide for health and social care settings. Note, this video is for non-aerosol generating procedures or AGPs. It explains the standard COVID-19 PPE that is safe and appropriate for use in a range of health and social care settings. Alternative PPE that includes an FFP3 respirator must be used when an aerosol generating procedure is being performed. Part 1. Donning or putting on the personal protective equipment. For doffing procedures or taking off PPE, refer to the later part of this video. Putting on or donning PPE. Safe work practices are to protect yourself and limit the spread of infection. Keep your hands away from your face and the PPE being worn. Change your gloves when torn or heavily contaminated. Limit surfaces touched in the patient environment. Regularly perform hand hygiene. Always clean your hands after removing your gloves. Pre-donning instructions. Ensure the healthcare worker is hydrated. Tie your hair back. Remove jewellery so no stoned rings, watch, bracelets, etc. Check the personal protective equipment is in the correct size and available. Clean your hands with alcohol, hand gel or rub. If not available, use soap and water. Here are the recommended PPE components. Apron. Alcohol hand rub. Gloves. Eye protection, if a risk assessment indicates that these are required to prevent splashing to the eyes. Fluid resistant surgical face mask. Personal protective equipment should always be worn before entering the room where the patient is. Put the PPE on in the following order. Step 1. Put on your disposable apron. Make sure the ties are securely tied at the back. Step 2. Put on your surgical face mask. Carefully make sure it is secure around the ears. This type of surgical face mask is secured around the ears with elastic. Ensure that the mask is flat against your cheeks. With both hands, mould the nose piece from the bridge of the nose, firmly pressing down both sides of the nose with your fingers until you have a good fit. Once the surgical face mask is secure around the ears, make sure it fits well around the nose and then extend the mask down to fully cover the chin. For surgical face masks with ties, position the straps on the crown of your head and tie the bow above the ears. Tie the lower straps at the nape of the neck securely. This shows the health or social care worker fully donned wearing a surgical mask with ties. The top of the face mask should fit securely around the nose and the bottom of the face mask should extend carefully over the chin. Note, surgical face masks can be single session use and used while attending to a number of patients. However, gloves and aprons must still be changed between patients. Surgical face masks should always be well fitted covering both nose and mouth. The surgical face mask must not be allowed to dangle around your neck after or between each use. Your surgical face mask must not be touched once it is put on and it must be immediately changed when it becomes moist or damaged. Each surgical face mask must be worn once and then discarded as infectious clinical waste. Step 3. Put on your eye protection. This must be worn if risk assessment shows a chance of splashing into the eyes. Note, regular corrective spectacles are not considered adequate eye protection. Step 4. Put on disposable non-sterile gloves. There is no requirement for double gloving. You have now completed the donning of personal protective equipment. You are now ready to enter the patient area. Part 2. Doffing or taking off the personal protective equipment. For the donning procedure or putting on PPE, refer to the earlier part of this video. Taking off or doffing personal protective equipment. PPE should be removed in an order that minimises the potential self-contamination. Before leaving the room or cohort area where patients are being cared for, remove and dispose of your gloves and apron. Once outside the room, remove your face mask. Dispose of them all as infectious clinical waste. Step 1. Remove your disposable non-sterile gloves. Grasp the outside of the glove above the cuff and peel off. Hold the removed glove in the remaining gloved hand. Slide the fingers of the ungloved hand under the remaining glove at the wrist and then peel the remaining glove over the first glove and discard. Clean your hands with alcohol, hand gel or rub. If not available, use soap and water. 
Step two, remove your disposable apron. Do not touch the outside as it will be contaminated. Unfasten or break the apron ties at the neck and let the apron fold down on itself. Break the ties at the waist and fold the apron in on itself. Do not touch the outside, this will be contaminated. And then discard in the clinical waste bin. Step three, remove your eye protection if worn due to the risk of splashing. Hold both arms of the eye protection and lift and pull away from the face. Discard after use. Clean your hands with alcohol, hand gel or rub. If not available, use soap and water. Step four, remove your surgical face mask. This should be done outside the isolation room or cohort area. Using both hands, grasp the elastic ties secured around your ears. Stretch them and carefully pull away from your face drop into the clinical waste. If glasses are worn, carefully remove them and clean them with an alcohol lens wipe before washing your hands. Do not replace them again until you have completed hand hygiene. You can now wash your hands again with soap and water. You have now completed doffing of the PPE. For further information, please refer to the Infection Prevention and Control Guidance in the COVID-19 Guidance Collection on gov.uk. With thanks to Guy's and St Thomas's NHS Foundation Trust. Special thanks to staff Cecilia and Yusufa. Public Health England. Protecting and improving the nation's health.